others in their communities as well as in the entrepreneurial world. Before PFA, I came to USA for 10 years for her American dream. I used to be in the rat race, the eight to five, six to seven days a week work. I was a single mom. When I landed in America, I started actually from uh, working in Chinatown. Yeah, very, very, very hard, making like seven dollars an hour. I had no family time. I don't remember my, you know, my kids growing up. I felt guilty, but there was no time to feel guilty. Also, I wasn't happy because I clock in and clock out, I fight through traffic, running the same schedule every single week. I felt like I was making a living, but not really making a difference. I'm always doing the same thing every day. I don't see the much potential or room I can grow. Being an entrepreneur is uh, already hard, but being a woman entrepreneur is extremely important. If I keep working for someone else, if I keep working for corporate, I will never really have the level of freedom that I want. So I just have only two choices. Either I give up or I get better. So I said, I have to get better because my responsibility is not also for myself, <clears throat> but for my four kids. Being a single mom is super difficult. And because of PFA, it allows an ordinary woman just like me to achieve something great. Now, I'm able to spend a lot more time with my son. You know, as a woman, we've always been told we cannot do this or we cannot do that. But with PFA, I have been empowered by the leadership, by the company, by my peers. One thing that I really appreciate about PFA is that this is um, an environment that creates an equal opportunity for everyone, regardless of your background or your gender. There is no glass ceiling in PFA. Whatever you earn, whatever you deserve, it's given to you, and no one is going to hold you back. So I've been an insurance and producer for the past 15 years. Um, I've been independent, which means I have almost all carriers under my belt. And uh, as such, I can compare. And I have to honestly tell you that the product that PFA has been creating is the best in the industry. For me, from a producer perspective, that's very important because I don't want to have to wonder, do I offer the best to my clients? I know I do. Before PFA, I never think about I can help people. I cannot even help myself. But now I feel I'm, my life more meaningful because I can help people through our product. After I joined PFA, I'm so excited. I want to recruit people. I want to share with the people this opportunity. In PFA, I feel more and more valuable to my family and to my community. Trying to be a better version of myself, and then I go back to the community and add more value. Also, my life has changed in PFA through personal development, the encouragement that PFA gives us. I am another person before and after. Before I joined PFA, I really stressful, always excuses, and very negative. After I joined PFA, I'm a different Gina, so I feel more confident and positive ever since I joined PFA. And uh, I, I, I feel, I really feel, you know, I, I become, I become changing. I really, you know, becoming the better version of myself. PFA has given me the leadership skills to help empower and mentor other women to pursue entrepreneurship. During this business, I learned that you know I, I can you know I can have the ability to help out more people. I can have the ability to solve the problem. That's nice. I'm, I'm really so worried. blessed that you know having found this company, Premier Financial Alliance, because of you know the people behind the company being you know having this the culture of uh, servantship. I feel my world changed. I, I have friends. I have more team members. I have more partners. And they uh, stay with them. We are loving together. We are happy together. Even sometimes we uh, you know, cry together. And then later on, after I joined PFA, I do have a bigger dream. 
PSA is giving to uh, giving the opportunity to any ordinary regular person, uh, ordinary people have a great opportunity to start their own business. And the why the woman here is uh, is more more women in PFA is more successful because I think this is the only platform that women can challenge themselves, can challenge the men. So seeing the women leader up on the stage and leading a huge team is so inspiring. You have to just do it and embrace mistakes. But just don't make the same mistakes over and over again. You have to chase after new mistakes. One of the most I learned from PFA is perspective. The ability to stay calm no matter what happened. Because in life, it's truly not about what happened to you, but how you react to what happened to you. Never let your English stop you. Never let your language stop you. Never let what happened now stop you. Because I think the difference between now and the future you is really what you believe and what you do. If you ask me to think back to the old lifestyle, I don't, right now I don't feel that's the lifestyle I want. PFA saved our life. I want to thank PFA for investing in my success. I am so grateful with PFA. Thank you PFA for giving me a company where I can pour my heart and my energy into. I don't want to think about anything without PFA. I can express how grateful I am to be in PFA. PFA made me a better person, a better version of myself. The most important lesson I learned from PFA is how to become a great entrepreneur. Being a great entrepreneur means hard work, commitment, dedication, sacrifice. If you can do all those, then you will have a chance to become successful too. So guys, listen, we, we, this is a series, Lewis, Moran, uh, Jen, all, you, we're, all they've done is, is they've waking us up. We, th we were, we're asleep. But they ticked off a sleeping giant. And, 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 I, and I promise you guys, we're going to control the narrative. We're going to control who we are. Because we know who we are. But the world's going to know who we are. And we're going to make sure that we continue to do what we do. We're going to make ourselves proud. We're going to make National Life proud. And we're going we're to make our clients glad they did business with us. So, so thank you, Jack, and your team. Wonderful job. And thank you, women. Thank you, all you You know, we're so blessed to, to, to have a, a CEO slash chairman of the board that is a people person who's a, who's a team person. He's a, he's a guy that, that stays in the field and he, makes, he wants to know the pulse of the field. And, uh, and that's just him. And, and so he's, he's doing what he was born to do. He's doing it to lead a company to, to the greatest heights they can go to. That's what we're doing as well, guys. So we're so fortunate. And, and so I'm going to introduce Chairman of the Board, National Life Group, Marana Sadi. Marana, come out. Woo!